Gaming gear is all the rage these days with brands coming up with innovative new tech for keyboards, monitors and whatnot. So I bought a $5 gaming mouse of Amazon to see how it really performs when it comes to gaming and well my regular workflow. Hey everyone this is Neeraj from Techie Tech Tech and let's find out whether it's worth buying a $5 gaming mouse. So this is a wired gaming mouse by a company called Zing Technologies based out of India. It features 6 buttons and RGB lighting with a modern design. We'll start off with the design and build quality of this mouse. It looks a lot bigger than your standard mouse but feels nice in the hand especially if you have big hands like me. Even though it's got a plastic body, ergonomically it feels solid and the texture on the left and right click buttons feels remarkably nice. It doesn't feel like a $5 mouse at all. The mouse has a matte finish on the palm rest area for a better grip along with the knockoff logo of Razer that lights up. As I said, it features an RGB light with 7 different light effects that are customizable. As we move up, there's a DPI button. Yes, it features a dedicated DPI button with 4 active levels. But the caveat to the DPI button is that you can only switch between 4 different levels at one time from a total of 5 available different DPI levels. You can set the active DPI levels from the mouse own software that is from 1200, 1600, 2000, 2400 and 3200 and each DPI level features a different light. Moving on, the scroll wheel has a rubber covering which lights up and is also clickable like any other mouse. On the left side, there are two horizontal buttons which are by default programmed for back and forward actions like in a web browser or windows explorer. All the buttons can be reprogrammed by the software which can be downloaded from the company's official website. The mouse features a plastic wheel with a strip design that lights up with the RGB lighting on both sides. It's a nice addition for a better grip but if your palms sweat then you tend to lose grip as it becomes a bit slippery. On the bottom of the mouse you'll find a metal base with an optical sensor. The metal base is covered with a transparent plastic covering that gets scratches very easily. But that's just the covering. The product page on Amazon claims that it features a polling rate of 1000Hz. Polling rate is basically how often the mouse reports its position to the computer. It's measured in Hz. For example, if a mouse features a polling rate of let's say 150Hz, then it will report its position to the computer 150 times in a second. I tested the polling rate of this mouse and got an average of 110Hz. Also, the mouse weighs around 150 grams and comes with a 1 year limited warranty. Did I mention there's a wireless variant of this mouse too? The mouse features a 1.5 meter braided wire with a high quality type A USB connector. The cable is strong and we stress tested it just to make sure. As for the buttons, they're a bit noisy, which I personally like, but a lot of users prefer their mouse clicks to be silent. Well, this one is not at all silent. Also, the side buttons protrude way too much than a regular mouse buttons, which feels a bit uncomfortable, especially if you have small hands. Moving on to the performance. It's a decent mouse for regular activities like browsing the web, photo and video editing etc. And moving on to the gaming section. This mouse not only looks like a gaming mouse but also performs like one. But you'll need the mouse driver software to be able to take full advantage of it. I played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Assassin's Creed and a bunch of other games to see how the mouse performed in different games. And I was not disappointed at all. In fact, I prefer using this over my regular mouse. Moving to the next section that is customization, a lot of games don't support the extra buttons on this mouse right out of the box. Like I said, you'll need the driver to configure the buttons and check whether they're working or not. 
For example, I played Modern Warfare 3 and the game did not detect the keys, so I had to configure those with the mouse software and boy did I get my money's worth after that. So in short, the gaming mouse software is pretty dope. You can customize almost everything with this, ranging from the button configurations to LED speeds, scroll wheel speed and even the response time. Moreover, you can also save up to 3 active configurations and always import and export them anytime you want. You can even configure custom macros for every key. I mean, how cool is that for a $5 mouse? With the right settings, the mouse performs really well for its price. But the biggest downside is that the lowest DPI is only 1200. Now that is a bummer for some FPS gamers. Another big downside is that the mouse driver software is not compatible with macOS. So you can only use the default buttons profile. Moving to the conclusion. So is it worth buying a $5 gaming mouse? Hmm. If you're just getting started and looking for a featured pack cheap gaming mouse that looks and performs like a premium gaming mouse, this will fit the bill. But if you're looking for an upgrade from your current gaming mouse, I won't really recommend it unless you desperately need a new gaming mouse and don't have the budget. My advice would be to save up and get a gaming mouse that has a wider DPI range and proper after sales support. I hope this video helped you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.